got the iFly F435 stack it's got a 55 amp ESC inside of it I've got it mounted inside my tank here and uh, I've got wasp major motors on it these motors have uh, been through the ringer they actually have quite a bit of noise and the reason why I'm testing this ESC out with these motors is because they're really rough and if it's going to fail it's going to fail with these motors. We're not going to crash it and turn it on and stick stuff in it or anything like that. We're going to do normal hard flight. Well, not normal hard flight. We're going to rip it really hard, do 180 turns at full speed. We're really going to uh, try our best to uh, make this flight controller fail in the air and uh, we're going to see how it performs and then I'm going to level it out put it in angle mode make sure the horizon is still uh, pretty straight I have flown stacks before and they've not kept horizon because the gyro would be off they would still fly in acro mode but uh, we're really going to put it through its paces and see what it's made of alright guys here's the flight all right, guys, I got you on the drone. This wind is really kicking today. Uh, it's blowing really hard. So it should really give this ESC a run for its money. Let's run this thing and see what it can do.
All right, guys. So here we got the iFly F ATF 435 and 55 amp ESC. The design quality of it seemed pretty good, but it's just like the F7 model that came with the Nazgul, and uh, everything's laid out. It's got plug and play, so you don't really have to do any soldering. But the soldering tabs are all nice and laid out and labeled. All right, the quality of it is in question because of the 55 amp ESC that I received first time had a double tab lead and it ended up shorting out without being flown or anything like that. Um, but they seem to replace it with another and uh, they seem to fix the problem because it's a different design and uh so I'm giving this quality on this one a half a check. The top speed mile per hour, it seems like it's really good considering it's a, a budget ESC. And we are running BL Heli S and Blue J firmware on this ESC. So the top speed is really good considering the fact it's not BL Heli H. And it seemed to run pretty fast for a long time. The torque uh, speaks for itself also. You can see in the flight that it's really torquey. It, it moves really fast on a very heavy quad, which is the tank. The tank is not a light frame, and it's not a light field. But that thing gets up and goes. 115 miles per hour it was the top speed. The efficiency on it, well the efficiency has a lot to do with the weight and everything else, but uh, I ran a hot pack uh, after filming and after running a hot pack I got pretty good efficiency we're talking about four to five minute flights I would say if I was not on it and I was just flying around normal I would get pretty good efficiency out of this uh, ES out of the ESC and flight controller okay the durability the durability I think is going to be really really good on the long run because my buddy has a Nazgul V3 which has the F7 but just because we had that problem with that ESC you might have some of these come out with problems and you want to look into getting that replaced and the, that could affect the durability of it also so I'm going to give that a half a check on that also the responsiveness so in responsiveness I'm not only talking about how how good it handles and everything because you've seen it handle really good in really high wind but also when I turned it back on angle mode for a lot of people and a lot of beginners that's really important to have a level of flight when you go to land or take off and I think the responsiveness of the gyro in this is really good so the weight I compared the this stack to uh, the Speedy B 405 stack the Velox light uh, for F4 stack and the Sky Star, Sky Stars F405 stack. And the reason why I compared these stacks together because they are the F4 stacks, and out of all these, uh, it seemed to be around the same weight at 22.5 grams. So I'm going to give it a check mark on the on the weight. It seems to be a good weight on this type of stack. The cost is really, really good. You cannot beat the cost of this stack, especially if you get like a, a code or something like that. The cost of this stack, I bought it uh, for 40 bucks. It's went up a little bit, but not drastically. Uh, $55 on a stack gives you, uh, you know, a selection of getting better motors. Because if you're paying $150 for a stack that's pretty expensive for a stack so you're paying like a third of a of a price of a good stack so the cost it really blows it out the water on this uh, so the tunability tunability you have to have beta flight 10.10.0 if you do not have beta flight 10.10.0 you will not be tuning this ESC I figured this out the hard way I plugged it up I flashed it I tried everything and I realized oh well I've got the official release and the official release that's out right now uh, does not support this uh, 
flight controller. So the tunability, I'm going to have to give this one an X on the tunability because they should make it uh, they should make it compatible with the official release. But this is a new stack, so I kind of understand in another way. This could be following beta flights, but uh, beta flights fault. But seeing that you can tune it. Uh, and you know now which one to tune it off of. Uh, I had trouble, so the ease of tunability is an X. An eight out of a ten score is a really good score. I really recommend this stack for people that are building because this is a budget stack and it performed really well for a budget stack. So. Uh, this score is a really high score for this stack uh, because it really performed really well uh, out of the T motor pro stack and these motors I got the same mile per hour if that tells you anything I've had top-notch stacks not be as responsive as this stack is when you go back into angle mode after doing all those flips and rolls and all that so I really recommend this stack out of my experience. I was not paid to say this. They did not give me anything for free. I paid for this out of my own pocket. And uh, so you guys need to check it out. Put it on your drone or put it on a new build and uh, see what you guys think because I think it's a good one. All right, guys. Thank you for watching the video. This is now my job. Please support me below. Uh, and I have not received any support so far, so it'd be helpful if you guys at least subscribe to this video. Thank you. Or with these motors on this whole setup, so it, we're going to see exactly how it performs uh, with that 55 amp ESC. I've got a GPS on the back of it. We are going to really give it, uh, put it through its paces, and see what it does. Uh, the motors I got on here, you got a little, this one's got a little noise to it, is because if you listen, they're kind of rough. So, if anything's going to go wrong, it's going to, they're going to, shit. Alright guys, here we go again. Yeah, this one's going to have an outtake for sure. I didn't even turn on my fucking remote. Like a moron. I got that on recording too. <laughs>